what's up guys it's kitty and welcome back to a another video today we're gonna do something a little different y'all today y'all see we sitting we ain't in the kitchen we ain't in the car today video is going to be a q a we both posted on our instagrams told people to ask us a few questions so also we found we googled some questions quick little questions too and if you stay tuned to the end of the video we have a surprise for you guys first things first the easiest question what is our names my name is kiana my name is tyree i go by ty it's shorter people really be calling me like tyreek or tyrese <laughs> in school it would just be irritating i say tyree they say tyreek no so i just say ty key Kitty. Kitty. Right. <laughs> That's where it came from. That's where it came from. We was thinking of a name and I didn't want to use both our full names, but I wanted a nickname. Mm -hmm. So name, I don't mind. Key, Ty, Kitty. It's cute. It's both of us. Kitty. <laughs> it's adorable. Key, Ty. It wouldn't sound whatever we said. Who don't key like tie. kittens? A lot of people don't like cats, but. I don't like cats, but I like kittens. Anyway, I guess that's a fun fact. Okay, so let's get into the real questions. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit, the city. Where you from? <laughs> Why you look me up and down when you ask? <laughs> <laughs> it does not naturally happen. Where are you from? I'm I don't from... want to be fake. Hey, where you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. Yes. What part of Detroit? West side or east side? West. I'm from the west side, but I'm from the east side too. I was raised on the west side. And the so east you side. from the west side, but you you grew up. Part of your child is on the east side. But you on so the west side. I basically now. got I got ties on the east side. <laughs> west side is the best side. I'm not into those. West is the best or east is the best. Politics. Me neither, but I said that because it was funny. It was on my mind. You funny. Come on. Whatever. What's the next question? Uh, this is so crazy that this is the next question. And when I ask the question, you go see why. What's your favorite color? <laughs> my favorite color is purple. So I know my favorite color is black. What's your favorite color? Purple. Y'all see what I got on? Y'all see what he got on? <laughs> It was just natural <laughs> for me to throw this on because a lot of my clothes are my favorite color. The next question is, tell me something that you enjoy doing. Something that I enjoy doing? I enjoy doing creative things like editing videos. I used to be into art a lot when I was younger, editing things like pictures and stuff. That's something I enjoy doing. What's something you enjoy doing? Something I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Something fun, something that, that you have fun doing or something that just brings you joy. Any activity. I got I got a good one. Something I enjoy doing, and I enjoy doing this, and a lot of people probably don't know that I actually enjoy doing this, which is crazy. But I enjoy going outside. And when I say going outside, I don't mean how they mean it nowadays. I mean like genuinely going outside, taking a walk, being one with nature, feeling the air, touching the grass, looking at the trees, looking at the sky. That's that's something I enjoy doing. I love being outside, which is why I really like summertime and like the springtime because it just feels so good outside. The air is warm. It feels nice. It's different from winter and fall. And in Michigan, we could get all, all seasons in one week, but... <laughs> You know when it's summertime. I feel like spring is a perfect time to, for nature, mother nature, because it's rainy, plants are growing. It's Everything just a lot going back. on outside. You, you smell the air, the, the wind feel good. And I didn't think you was going to say that. I actually thought you was going to say that you enjoy dancing. I know. <laughs> she threw but... me off with that one. <laughs> What's the secret talent that you have? Secret talent I have? I don't think I really have a secret talent or none of my talents mm -hmm. are secrets, but dance. And I only say that because now if you like follow me on social media, I don't really post nothing dance related of myself dancing. I don't post nothing dance related, but I actually love dancing. I know how to dance. I dance. I've been dancing since I was little. So... Now I just dance in my room or in my living room. <laughs> but yeah, I danced on stages, did different types of dance and I miss it and I can't wait to start it again. Fun fact about me, I can't dance. <laughs> the last dance that I did for real was the Michael Jackson experience on the Wii and that was my shit. That's crazy. 
let's see, a secret talent that I have. Right, what's your <clears> secret <throat> talent? Honestly, my secret talent, my se let me see. I don't know. I think cooking might be like a secret talent for me. It's not something that I did a lot before, but now I'm starting to do it more. And y'all be seeing our cooking videos. I feel like I'm getting better every time. But that wasn't what I was going to say. I was going to say, I think my secret talent is reading people. Like, I can sit down with somebody and I can look at them and I can like read their body language, their emotions. I feel like I could come up with a good conclusion as to what that person is feeling or what kind of vibes that they giving off. I, I can I can tell when somebody lying. Like, I could look at you and you seeing you lying to me. <laughs> I know when you lying. I feel like I could probably be a cop or something because I know when somebody lying, but I wouldn't want to be no cop. Next question. This is a question that involves both of us. What's one thing that we do together that makes us feel connected? Jeez, we do a lot of things together. But one thing, one thing we do that makes me feel connected, and this is a crazy one. Not crazy, but it's not what you expect me to say. When we driving in a car together, mm -hmm. when you driving, and I'm in the passenger seat. Passenger princess, that's, that makes us feel... That make me feel connected to you. I, I can agree with that. Why? Why? Why is... I can't explain why. Sometimes I be knowing things and can't explain why I know it or I like, but some like, that's how I feel. Like, I really feel connected to you when we're in the car together. I think you saying that because we in the car, we next to each other. First of all, we driving somewhere, it ain't no, it might be a little short trip, but it's most likely gonna be like a 30 minute drive. We got our music on, we chilling, and we next to each other, we might hold hands or something. Something cute. It reminds, I think it's because it gives movie scene mm. and not no cringy movie scene. It's just like everything, Cringe. just everything just so it natural just when we in the car. So it's like we be vibing, we yeah, in the car, we like, vibing, we chilling. It's like some our vibe see time. on TV, that's, that's like when you see couples in a car together on TV and they be like just riding, like chilling, doing cute little stuff, mm -hmm. singing the songs. <laughs> that makes me feel connected to you. But I was going to say, what something that we do that makes us feel connected? Listening to music together. We just throw some music on and actually listening to music and cooking. Like, I love cooking because when we started cooking, we had a music on and it just be, it just be a fun time always because <laughs> we in the kitchen together. First of all, we got our own playlist. Any song in the playlist, we know every song. It ain't gonna be no dry moments in the playlist because we're gonna be dancing and cooking, even though I can't dance. But yeah, I just feel that makes me feel connected to you. It's always a good time. Next question Who are your top three artists right now? Right now. My top three artists. Musical artists, yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It could be as a as of this month so far, have what you've been listening to, or it could be like all time. I can't answer all time. Cancer all the time, but honestly, I don't know. Like, I can't answer all the time, but like, if I was get to get asked for this month or something, then I still can't answer because, and this is why, because I listen to a lot of people, like a lot of people in one day. Because of course, and I don't have no order. I'm gonna say Chris Brown and I'm gonna say Future because that's what we've been listening to. That's what I've been listening to recently, but I've also been listening to like a other a lot of other people off the top of my head lucky day came up sir came up what's her name kalia i don't know how to pronounce her name but she came up mm. it's like a lot of people came up jungle they came up okay. i can't give just three well, you you basically just answer like artists that you enjoy just go ahead name some artists you like how about that that's the question just to give us a feel of your musical taste that's okay, point. artists I enjoy. I would never get tired of their music. Mm -hmm. Kalani, Party Next Door, Bryson Tiller, Logic, Sir, Lucky Day, Beyonce. Who else? I got a good taste off of that. First, my favorite artist, if I didn't know, my favorite artist is Future. I like Lil Uzi. I like Young Thug. I like Young Nudie. Who else? Chris Brown. I enjoy Chris Brown. Ken Carson. I listen to Ken Carson. Sa baby, lucky. I like lucky. Lucky. I enjoy the Michigan rappers. V, Rio, Mike. I like them. A wide variety of hip hop. I enjoy R and B too. I love my throwback. 
throwback r and Next question is easy. When your birthday? My birthday is July 22nd. And if y'all care about horoscopes, I'm a cancer. When is your birthday? I'm an Aquarius. And my birthday is February 10th. Really? That's the day before my sister's birthday. <laughs> really? I'm a winter baby. He is a summer, summer baby. baby. So that mean when I was little, all my parties outside, hot, all the kids on the block, clown. Clown. Okay, mm -hmm. next question. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? If I could be an animal. First of all, y'all see how I just beat on my chest. I'd be a gorilla. After watching the Kong movie, it's just like, I kind of <laughs> noticed gorillas as an animal because they, they actually very interesting. They're smart animals, they're strong. I don't like how they look, and they black. I'd be a gorilla. Would you be if I could be an animal? Let's see what animal would you do what animal would, would I be? be? I think you would be like a cat, honestly. You look like a cat, you could be a cat, a kitten, a cat, a kitty. I don't even like cats. How about this? You can be like a cougar or a panther, you could be a um, a cheetah. I don't know. I feel like those, those animals don't really match you, yeah, they don't fit with who I am. I see. Some like you said, one. you said gorilla. You can see like, that. no funny. I can see that though. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be funny, but like, I could see how you would say that because you're very strong, first of all. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I could, I could have said a turtle, but I can't. I love. I could say a turtle. You be a turtle. I could, I could be. I don't know why she didn't just say that because she literally has a turtle tattoo, so. Yeah, I have a turtle tattoo on my ankle, but that's for my turtle that passed away. R.P. Y'all want to know why? Because I'm a fairy. Fairy? Had the one behind your ear? Yeah, I got a fairy tattoo behind my ear. It ain't finished, but. The animal you would be is a turtle. I thought, a turtle. You about to say, I thought you were saying fairy. Okay. Next question. Do you play sports? Have you ever played sports? Do you like sports? Sports. Let's talk about sports. I started playing football in the eighth grade. My family always used to try to convince me to play earlier. I just didn't want to, but <laughs> I finally was like, you know what? Let me try it out. It's something I enjoy doing. I played football from the eighth grade. And then when I got into high school, I played through all throughout high school. And it's something I enjoy and I don't regret doing it. Football is a good game and it teaches you life, honestly gets you in shape and it teaches discipline. It's also fun and it can lead to good things in life. So yeah, I enjoy playing football when I did play. No, but dance is a sport and I dance, so. You dance? So tell me about your dancing days. Like you did like ballerina, what kind of dance? I did, I did ballet, jazz, modern, contemporary, hip hop, African and a majorette. I did all of those. I only knew one of them, y'all. I only knew she did majorette. Cause I played football. Uh, yeah, and that's my sport. Next question is the story of how we met. So we both gonna go. Tell me how you met me. How do we meet each other? How do we meet? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't tell you exactly what happened when we first seen each other because I don't remember, <laughs> but I do remember us being in the same class. It was this summer program right before high school. Okay, so we both went to the same high school. We went to Renaissance High School. And uh, when we went, I don't know if they still do this or not, but at the time we went, they, before, they sent out things saying that we had to go to a program they had in the summertime called Summer Bridge Program, and they said it was mandatory. Right. That you had to go before going to Renaissance in the fall. So, it was basically like school. It was school. And it showed you how to prepare as a incoming ninth grade student. At Renaissance, which is the At top, one of the top. It's the, the top school. number one school right. in the city. So, yeah. Oh, that was that was a little better in bridge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we ended up being in the same bridge class, and it was we all had so each class it was like a homeroom. You go to each subject, and we ended up being in the same class. And one of our classes, I remember we sat at the same table. When I seen her, I really didn't think much of her. I was interested in her hair color because it was very unique. I'm like, is that her real hair? <laughs> and she had like some. Long twisties, blonde, some blonde twisties. I'm like, 
Is that real? Like, I was genuinely confused because it blended so well, but we, I didn't say nothing to her because I'm not the type to, I'm not the confrontative type. I'm not the talkative type. I don't really talk to people. I stay to myself. So I didn't really say nothing to her. That's the first, the earliest memory I got of you. Tell me about your story. Yours might be more interesting than mine. This is my natural hair color. This obviously isn't my natural hair. I have locks, but this is my natural hair hair color never dyed it and i never will and so and this my skin tone and my hair color alone just brings attention to me so everybody's gonna stare because my skin tone is different from what you normally would see and my hair color is different from what you normally see people gotta dye their hair to get my hair color and it still don't be right i don't know i'm just gonna give a backstory We've been friends since basically ninth grade, high school. We've been friends. So since he was on the football team, I knew everybody was on the football team, basically. Not everybody, but almost everybody. I don't really like people. I'm not a people person. So yeah, I don't. Anyway, so we was friends in high school and we always been friends. Always been cool. So 2020, COVID happened. Boom. Everything shut down, no school. You ain't seeing your friends every day, no more. All y'all got is texting. That's how we stayed in touch with people. That's how we stayed in touch with each other. We'll check in every now and again. And it was like that up until last year, earlier last year. It was like that up until earlier last year when we started talking more. Yeah, we basically just start texting heavy. I always felt, I always knew that she was a good person. We always been good friends. When we just started testing, we just started getting closer to each other. And I just wanted to be around her, period, doing anything. <laughs> so, um, we didn't talk in high school. We didn't talk on that level in high school because I was in a relationship. And then not too long after, he got in a relationship. So, respectfully, we kept it as friends up until last year. <laughs> but we both were out of our previous relationship before we even started talking. And we didn't have, I didn't have nothing to do with his relationship and then he had nothing to do with my relationship. And then two separate situations, separate it's like time. Everything lined it's up. like time brought us together, not nothing. All else. the stars aligned. <laughs> Last year, we, I don't know, we just rekindled our friendship basically. And at the time I had moved, so I lived 30 minutes away from everybody. And I can't say I'm far away from everything. I'm just far away from my loved ones, 30 minutes away from my loved ones. But I'm close to everything. Everything you could think of you want to do in your head is down the street from me. <laughs> so we were both out of our relationship and I found myself talking and texting to her. I found myself texting her every day and I'm like, she is very, she always been interesting. She's a very interesting young woman. I sound like an old man. <laughs> you are an old man. She's an interesting person. So I just naturally wanted to talk to her, conversate with her, check in. Like I care about this person as a friend. Oh, you know, I feel like our spirits, we are kind spirits together. <laughs> anyway, we just started getting closer and I'm like, you trying to do something? Like come over, chill. like. Being in person is different than texting or being on the phone. We didn't really get on the phone much. It wasn't much to say. I come over, we would chill, we'd go do things. And eventually I had a crush on her. Had a crush on her, told her, and things went from there. And now we're here today. It was kind of random to her because she didn't like me at first, but <laughs> she learned, she learned to like me basically. She just had to open her mind. She opened her right, mind. Right, don't say I learned to like you. That sounds horrible. She I just had to open mind. my mind up to the possibility of seeing him as more than a friend. Yeah, because that's, that's what it was. That transition is always it's like we go from being friends, just friends, nothing nothing extra to more. Yeah. Then it just kept evolving. I just never thought we would like if somebody told me that we was going to be together in high school, I would have probably laughed in their face and told them that they was lying. I'm like, like, what you mean? That's my friend. I'm like, who? That's my friend. So, and it was crazy because when we got together, it everything happened so fast. It's like in the blink of an eye, five months went by. Like, yeah. got together and here we are. Favorite things 
to do together as a couple. The first one, I enjoy cooking with you. We do that together every day. I, I feel like he can read my mind. Really? At the same time. time. Like, <laughs> and not even, and it don't be stuff like how we just did same time. It be like crazy like, stuff. Like it, we in the sentence and I would finish knowing exactly word for word what he was going to say. Or like, it if gives I like think twin te telepathy. Twin yeah, telepathy. like, or if I think something and I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask him that later. Mm -hmm. When I see him later. He will say it to me first, like he was already thinking, thinking that. it. Like, yeah. like what you if he was say what you want for dinner, and I was thinking that earlier. Like, how you know I was finna ask that? It's kind of like we got similar thinking processes because we are <laughs> for real. We have similar thinking processes, and we use context clues and things around us to come up with a solution or yeah. answer. Yeah, it be the craziest things. Like also, she like a mini me. She be taking all my lingo. She copy off of me, and I find her doing everything I do and how I do it. And she be trying to dress like me. Next question. Whatever. Oh, I didn't even answer the question. Favorite things to do as a couple. I like going places together. I like going to do things. So you like you like you like when we go on dates. Basically, yeah. I, I like when we go on our dates and spend quality time together. Like I like I like doing that with you. Like wow. spending quality time with me. Yeah. Like oh. we don't need our phones, we don't need T V to have a good time. Each other is enough, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Phones don't always be there. The second thing that I like to do together is going to the gym. I just started mm. going to the gym, what has it been, two months? A month? We've Almost two. We've been in that gym. We've been in the gym, and I like going because before I was so against going to the gym, and I said I never would go to the gym. I ain't got no reason to go to the gym. None of that. But now she got one, y'all. I like actually like going to the gym, doing the workouts and stuff. It's nice. Kissing in between sets. <laughs> What's something you like to do? Just by yourself, you. What do you like to do? Me. I actually do enjoy video games. It's something I've been doing <laughs> since I was five years old. I've been doing it since I was a kid. And I try to get something good out of it. That's why I start making content. It's, I have a purpose or a goal that I'm doing every time I play. So My hobby that I like to do is building Legos. Mm, I, I actually just recently discovered that I actually enjoy Legos because... Especially the flower Legos. Show, show one of your sets you did. I'm gonna show y'all a set. Here's one. Here's crazy. other one. <laughs> There's more, but those are just the two for right now because they right in front of the TV. I actually enjoy Legos and I want more sets. Hey, I realize it's, that's my new, that's my new, new hobby. hobby. Okay. It's Legos. I like that. Can I steal you from your man, bae? He, it's not a he that said that, it's a she. And you know who you are, so hi. And if you want to, you can. <laughs> I'm just playing. Worst date. Have you ever experienced a bad date? Yo, face. What, no. <laughs> a bad date? Yo, face was like, yeah. A bad date. A date went wrong. I, I have not had a bad date experience. Tell me about a bad date that you wanted and you was just like, what the... I don't think I ever had a bad date, I'll say that. But I, mm -hmm. up until like two years ago, I used to pay for all my dates. So I never counted them as dates. Mm. So I guess that could be bad. Oh, so every date you went on, you had to pay for with a bad date? No, I don't mean, yes, I could pay for dates sometimes, but mm -hmm. it's it's a lot more that went into that. So if, if I had to pay for the date, I don't consider it a date. Unless it was talked about prior. I'm finna take you on a date. You taking me on a date? Which I have done before. You've taken me on dates. But it was, if you just didn't take me on dates at all, mm -hmm. and I just would be take you on dates all the time, just me, I'm taking you on a date. Every time you don't ever take me on a date. Mm -hmm. That. That's what would be a bad date right there. I just ain't even a date. I'm just taking you out to eat. eat. Actually, we just eating dinner. This ain't no date. The best piece of advice you've given. That I've given to somebody. Mm -hmm. Best piece of advice that I give to somebody. It was recent. I told my little brother, don't do drugs. Because he going through a possible situation. And it's easy access to drugs where he at. 
I just told him, don't do it. I can't control what you do. Just don't do it. It's not worth it because you got to spend money on it. It's addictive. If you do it to ease some type of pain that you got, but don't do drugs. Big brother, mm -hmm. the best piece of advice. Honestly, I don't know. I don't give bad advice, not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I don't. Because when somebody comes to me for something, I I take it very seriously. If you if anybody has ever come to me for advice, period, it was the best advice that I've gave them. If I'm giving you the advice, that means I want you to at least try to, to do it. your best. But in a day, it's your choice. Don't do drugs, kid. What's your favorite guilty pleasure TV show? Guilty pleasure TV show. What does guilty pleasure mean? Guilty pleasure TV show. Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> I was gonna say either Grey's Anatomy or Pretty Little Liars. Cause recently that's all I've been watching. I'll say- And we've been watching Grey's. It used to be guilty pleasure, Dr. Stone. I oh. I used to be so ready to watch Dr. Stone. We finished it. I was, I'm like, can we, can we watch Dr. Stone today? It's too good. You will look I forward to watch watching it. Dr. Stone. If you don't know what Dr. Stone is, look it up and watch it is really good and this for all the anime haters out there i just started watching anime i used to think the same thing too because i was close minded about it it was always a, that demographic of it where you got to be a nerd or lame to watch anime it's just a cartoon if you like cartoons watch it give me a backstory on who you are you got any sibling on your life i give a little quick a little, little autobiography quick little rundown my name I have four, five siblings, four on one side, one on the other. I am the child before the baby. So that means I got three older siblings, three. I got two big sisters, one older brother, and I got a little, a younger sister. She's not little no more, I always say little. And I got a younger brother. He's in his teenage age right now. Growing up, I was raised by my mom and grandmas my dad passed away at a young age so that's always hard growing up going through that situation at a young age so that was always a, a trouble right there always was a quiet kid stuck to myself but i was always cool nobody really told me i was funny or nothing but <laughs> i think you're funny she tell me i'm funny she always <laughs> laughing at me man. i feel like throughout high school i just learned that i was funny i'm a cool person and I'm not the type to really be around big crowds either. I won't say I'm antisocial, but, or introvert. I'm kind of like both. I'm not going to break my neck to be around a bunch of people. I started my locks when I was in the seventh, it was actually the end of the seventh grade year, going into the eighth grade years. That's 2016, I had my locks for about eight years. I actually trimmed my locks so they're not as long as they would be, but I don't mind it because they're at the length that I would like. I didn't want my locks to be super long down my back. That's it. I like your locks. Thank you. I actually thought about dyeing them, but I don't think I want to do that no more. I just wanted to do something different and new, but I got a new lock journey going on right now. A new journey with my hair. And it don't involve dyeing it. I'm Kiana. I have a big family. Ooh. I have six sisters and five brothers. Two of, my, two of my sisters are on my dad's side of the family. So they have a different mom. We share a dad. And everybody else is my mama's. In my household, we grew up 10 kids in the house. Yep. That's crazy. It is. 10 kids in the house. Yep. My dad's side, I'm before the youngest. And then on my mom's side, I'm the fourth oldest. Why does sound like No, that don't sound like me. I'm number four. And I'm the one right before the baby. We see, look, we similar right there. <laughs> I like to dance. I like to read. I like to write. I love to draw and build my Legos. I love baking and cooking. I love nature. My favorite animal is turtle. And now it's time for our surprise. Now, if y'all remember at the beginning of the video, we said we had a surprise for you at the end of the video, but you had to make it to the end of the video to see the surprise. And now we want to show y'all our surprise. Let's go. Okay, y'all, I'm about to show y'all our surprise. So come on. 
We have a turtle, a new baby turtle. Oh my God. What's his name? Let's see him. Where he trying to hide up under the log? He trying to hide, but his name is Tex. Let's take him out. And so we can get a good look at him. He trying to hide. Look, he can't even get under there because of his shell. He running. He ain't. Uh, so Tex like be up under the uh, under that driftwood. Look at Tex, y'all. Hold up. Back up a little bit. Not quite. Okay, bit focus. Take a look at Tex, y'all. He is a baby map turtle. Check out his shell. Oh! <laughs> Come on. We ought to flow with it. <laughs> Because why he just he scared he all the way in his shell as y'all can see his shell it kind of gives like spikes on his shell he has a very interesting shell and around the edges is like ridges when he get bigger he gonna look sweet I'm not gonna lie I mean if, if y'all enjoy turtles or y'all got a turtle let us know in the comments <laughs> all right Charles that's all we got for y'all today if y'all enjoy make sure y'all drop a like. We're gonna come with some more videos for y'all. This is just a little Q&A just so y'all can get to know us a little bit. Subscribe if you haven't already joined the family. And we out. Bye.